In this video the sphere is gonna get it. So when we shoot it we can apply damage and the actor is destroyed. Instead of shooting with the balls we are going to change this with line trace. Open up the rifle and instead of spawning the projectile alt click to disable this one. Let's drag this in for more room. And firstly I'm going to say the first part of the tutorial I go more in depth in the previous video which you can see on screen right now. So let's quickly set up this one first and then let's slowly show you I mean precisely show you how to apply damage on an enemy. So, line trace by channel, get the reference from your first person character, get first person camera reference, and then get the world location. So this is the start point from the start of the camera, and we're going to go in the forward direction, so get the forward vector for that one. Let's right click and multiply this with our gun range. So create a variable for this one. Gun range. Let's choose a float for this one. Compile. Let's set this to 20,000 or something big. And let's drag this in first. Okay. And let's add this one to our world location. And this is our endpoint, so we shoot array. Remember, we set this to camera. We don't want to shoot ourselves, so get a reference for actors to ignore. So let's make this nicely. For debugging, we're going to show this for duration. When you don't need to see the lines on screen more, choose the spec to none. Okay, so this is what we started out with in our first tutorial. So now you can see where we hit and we go through the object. Okay, so great. From out of hit, choose here, break hit results. Now I want to show you a very cool build a node from Unreal, namely apply damage. So this is a damage build in, and the damaged actor will be here, our hit actor. The one we hit, that's the one we need damage. We can choose how much damage. Let's create a variable for this. So let's set us to gun damage as a float, and let's say we do 10 damage or anything that you would like and plug this in into the base damage. Now later on we can call when something takes damage. So for that we're going to create an actor. Let's right click, create a new blueprint class, an actor, and let's call this one BP enemy. And let's take this one here. Now let's decide. Okay, the sphere is gonna get it. The sphere is our enemy. We can already drag the sphere right here into our level, something like this. Let's create multiple enemies, for example. Okay, he's gonna get it. Our enemy. So, here in the event graph, delete this stuff that we don't need. And then we right click and then find note event any damage. So whenever this sphere takes any damage, you can decide what happens. So, let's set our new health. And also get the health. So, let's plug from here and then subtract. We will subtract the damage that it's taking. So let's set it up like this, and this is the order you have to do it in, and then connect up to the new health, and the enemy health is connected here to the health that we just subtracted. Okay, great. So we create a branch, and if our health is less or equal than zero, to zero, then we can say that we need to destroy this actor, namely he is dead. Okay, let's test this out. So one, two, he's dead, one, two. One, two. So we apply damage and the actor is destroyed. This is how you can apply damage after line trace by channel on enemies in Unreal Engine 5.